hello brother okay um i know you're watching right now and uh, i want to show you how i retouch pictures uh facial images uh especially pictures that the picture uh, that the face is very you know sharp and close so what the first thing i do is that this is a lady a lady's picture so her skin after they retouching her to be a little bit you know um smooth though but not too smooth so but in everything all i want to achieve is realism i want it to be real i want it to be beautiful so i'm going to get into it so i'm going to start from the scratch here i'm going to start from the scratch so usually what i do is um i go to duplicate layer duplicate layer into three by pressing ctrl j you know this so i'll click on this layer remember the first i don't have to rename it just layer one so I'll go to my blur, Gaussian blur, and then apply blur of, um, I'll decide. Okay, I'll use uh, maybe 6.6 .6 for this. I'll explain further why I use 6.6. .6. The reason why I use 6.6 .6 is because I I want to retain detail while making her beautiful and, and soft. So I don't want the details of her skin to be lost, the skin texture to be lost. That's why I'm using 6.6 .6 for this. So I will now go over to this layer one after I've selected for the blur. I'll go over to this layer, select image. I'll go to image here now. Um, I'll go to image. Then I'll go to apply image. Here it has turned like this. So here is showing multiply here because of the system I'm using. So we can show subtract so if you're showing subtract then you don't have to change this but if it's already so i'm going to click subtract then i'll go to this place that is written merged look at it merged then i'll go to layer one then i'll check the offset and the scale scale is to offset 124 scale to offset 124 this is how i set up my own retouching and then i click ok so after clicking OK, I'll go over to the upper, the uh, normal. That is the image here. I'll go to this place now. You can see it's normal. I'm going to click on it and change it to linear light. And then we have the image back. Then I'll click on this layer one and then start. Select my lasso tool. Make sure that my feather. Look at the feather here. Feather is on eleven. Uh, that's why I keep it on 11 so that I won't have after I've selected like this now I've selected here so I will not have lines so that's why I feather it at 11 this is how I feather mine so you can go to your Gaussian blur then Gaussian blur and apply the blur look at the effect on the face if you have achieved exactly what you are looking for you can stop there just like this I click OK you can do it run it over for the skin you can run it over for the face now if you are editing sensitive area like here that have curves you know skin curves smile curves you you apply this with caution i'm going to the caution blow by using control alternate f or control f depending on the uh, photoshop you're using so if i click on that i can select here again if i'm not okay with it and apply the blur again i'll repeat this for different here i'm going to do it light so i don't want it to be too much here a little bit light then i'll do that for so for you may be wondering what i'm doing that is smoothing it i'm just pressing ctrl alternate f or ctrl f depending on the photoshop you're using to apply the former um, blur i have already selected which is 18.0 so now look at it okay for the read okay so i'll select here again look at it and then apply it so you can see how i run the editing here i will reduce the opacity a little okay from 18.0 to maybe around 16 point because i want to achieve realism then i'll select the neck area this is just the way i do my retouching so this is very simple for me if not that i'm explaining i would have edited this picture or retouched this picture within a space of three minutes 
but because I'm explaining, I'm going through the process over and over again. That's why you can see that it's taking a little much time. So I think I'm done with the retouching, but I'm looking at the face here. It's looking like I didn't touch here really well, so I'm going to do that so that it will look perfect a little more. Okay, the face, I think I may have to add a little because I'm seeing some uneven listen on the face so i think i'm okay with what i have here and i cannot collapse the skin can collapse the or the backgrounds here and go to color grading apply my color grading presets on this and we are good to to go so i'm just click on the color grading preset and then then we, we run it so this is how I do my editing so I've explained to you so you will understand how I do this I'm using the wedding tree for the skin because the wedding tree is perfect for her skin that's the reason why I'm using this particular color grading preset all right okay I think we can stop yesterday color grading so you see I'll just apply this and we are good to go all right